Hi everyone, it's Arda, and I'm here with another guest post for WOW Embossing Powder. This time I took my inspiration from the current Muse Card Club, and I made an elegant, shimmery Christmas card. I combined stamps and dies from two companies and used WOW Embossing Powder in three different ways. First, I stamped my sentiment. I used an anti-static pouch to make sure that the embossing powder would only stick where my stamping is. Then I stamped the Mama Elephant sentiment with the sticky clear WOW Embossing Ink. This ink stays wet, so you have time to pour embossing powder over it and heat it. I stamped it twice to make sure I got a good impression, but I must have moved the paper slightly because it didn't stamp in the exact same spot. Of course, I couldn't tell until I poured the embossing powder over. I used Kiwi Crush powder, pouring it over the panel and tapping off the excess. Using a folded piece of scrap paper makes it easy to tip the extra powder back into the jar. I preheated my heat gun, then brought it to my panel and heated it until it was all melted and smooth. In the light, this powder has a green base with gold and it's so shimmery. You can see where my double stamping didn't exactly line up, but I think the extra swirls are rather pretty. Little mistakes like this don't have to ruin a card. Next, I used some dies from Impression Obsession. I cut the birds and their wings out of white cardstock and I created a handle from a strip of cardstock. This makes this process a bit easier because you're not trying to hold on to all the little pieces. I put a strip of temporary adhesive on the cardstock and attached each piece. Next, I pressed WOW Embossing Ink all over the birds and their wings, making sure they were really well coated so that the powder would stick all over. I used a little bit of Mayan glints to make their bellies a little pink. The first one was easy to put powder just in that spot, but the second one was a bit trickier due to the angle. I got it in the end. Next, I used Inca glints to cover the rest of the pieces. This powder doesn't stick where the Mayan glints was already, so there's no need to worry about the powders getting mixed up or losing that pink area on the bellies. I heated it all up until the powder was melted. These birds are now pearly and shimmery and extremely elegant. The die set also has a little branch, so I followed the same process of sticking it to a handle with repositionable adhesive, pouring the kiwi powder over, and heating it up until it was melted. To create a matching mat for my card, I trimmed a panel to the correct size and then I put embossing ink around the edges, just smooshing it down. No need to cover the whole panel or even worry about how neat the smooshing is, since just the edges will be visible when the card is finished. I poured more Kiwi Crush over the edges and then heated it all up. There was a little smudge of powder in the center of the panel, so I heated it as well, just so it wouldn't move later. Then it was time to assemble. The panels were not very warped, but I used a lot of adhesive just to be sure that everything would lie flat. I put the mat down first, centering it carefully, and then I added the sentiment panel. See, it all matches perfectly. I popped the doves up with little pieces of foam tape and then adhered the branch with a quickie glue pen. You can see how shimmery these powders are, perfect for an elegant, festive Christmas card. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed being a creative guest this month. More details and supply lists are below and on the WOW blog. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.